Hello and welcome to probably what's going to be my largest seed video maybe of all time in Valheim. So I've got five really cool seeds for pure building or if you wanted to do some sort of building community server this would be incredible for that. The views are amazing. It's very focused in Meadows Black Forest and also I like the idea of having very specific world modifiers for a build community server where we keep everything about the same, but we go passive enemies, no build cost, raid rate zero, and we're chilling. Just like that, all of a sudden, well, portal items too, why not? And boom, now you have a really cool community server type of building seed uh, shenanigans where you can just set up tiny cars if you want through all of these aquatic seeds that I'm going to show you. And you can make tiny canal projects if the rivers are going to be too uh, rocky or shallow or something like that and just make a really cool build community server where you can hop on a carve, sail through all these rivers and just see the sights. Maybe people make amazing brilled, uh, brilled? bridge builds. <laughs> I combine them. Maybe people make amazing uh, builds on islands. Maybe people make amazing builds just in the middle of the water like not even on an island but there's a shallow area where you can set up base if there's a, a rogue wave or something you can set up a bench or what have you all these sorts of things are gonna be super interesting and I figured also uh, I'm going to do a mini series on one of these seeds that's going to be called the Bronze Age Baron where I progress all the way through the Bronze Age but just the Bronze Age so that if I get my Valheim kick again or if there's a major update or something or even a minor update with some good uh, progression influence in there or changes then i can load up this world having been through probably the most annoying part of the game the bronze age and i can progress from there and have low 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 odds of burnout so that being said i'm going to get right into these seeds and then i'm going to show you guys them in game uh, my Aesthetic Lakeside Maypole Seed has the most views on a seed video that I've ever done and I think I'm going to do this one even better. So let's get to the seeds and I'll show you them in game. There's going to be chapters for all of them so check the description or just check the sections in the video. I don't care how far you watch or if you want to just watch the one with progression that's going to be towards the end. You can skip right to it. I don't care. Let's get into it. All right. Okay. Seed number one. Here it is. I'm going to have all these links in the description and everything and the seeds just set up in the pinned comment as well as the description. Again, all that stuff is going to be super easily accessible to y'all. I only have maypoles present here. Already you can tell amazing aquatic seed. We have this uh, meadows black forest within the mountain here that you can use as a build point as well. But yeah, look at how aesthetic these maypoles are going to be right by the water. This is just god tier maypole with all these sailing routes and there's a solid one right here we have this nice little pond right there it's near this river too which is going to be great for progressing and sailing into these swamps getting back and forth like so of course you can just continue the routes go in and through and through and get to this one as well that's not going to be too much of a pain it's going to be much longer of a journey but it's still going to be very fun very aesthetic very smooth getting from iron there but build wise i mean there's a lot going on there's these little islands here nice little pond maple there or not maple a uh, pond and the riverside there and then there's this giant lakeside maple here which is amazing what i'm going to do is i'm going to check out these islands this maple and this maple i'm also going to check out this river with a mountain if it's going to be really cool then i won't uh, or if it's going to be really cool then i will showcase it but if not, then I'll just skip it. All right, I'll see you in game. Okay, I have uh, gone and explored the Western Island section, uh, section of the seed that doesn't have any maypoles. Still, this is an exceptionally gorgeous area, especially to build all sorts of creations on. This is just really wonderful. Uh, I'm on a southern side of the river, and this is well, supposedly, we're going to be one of the least interesting parts of it, but still, 
you know, how <laughs> how bad could it be when you have the view of the entire area like this? So let's go over and swim over to the pond over here. I want to kind of go around like this, over, down, and over here, and then through and on this island there. And that'll be my route. It is truly gorgeous. There's a lot of very unique things to see. But uh, no maypoles. Still, you have access to all these rivers, and that's going to be a-okay for progression. Now, getting through here, it's kind of hard to imagine without exploring it firsthand or seeing the seed that there's this gorgeous lake here. But yeah, it is beautiful. Beautiful lakeside area. Now, me having already explored it once, it's going to get rid of all of the exploration stutters that you might have. I wanted to give you guys a seamless viewing experience. But otherwise, I'm going to stay quiet and let you guys enjoy the views. Except for very specific, unique things that I happen to see. This spot here could be turned into a wonderful canal that could connect the lake to this outside ocean river system. It would take quite a bit of effort for sure, but it can be done. Let's see here, we have this spot which is nice in between if you wanted to build a good sized base, have views of both the ocean and the lake. But yeah, now we see the ocean side view here. It's sort of an interesting bay. Looks great. All sorts of building spots here, there, over there, the tiny island there. The tower over there can be reworked. Something super unique that I haven't seen in over 2,000 hours is a mini village that is entirely within the Black Forest. Almost always these things generate in meadows and there has to be a tiny fragment of meadows nearby for it to be in the black forest and usually that's just partially. This one is entirely in the black forest. Hmm, quite nice. Now we're getting to the island chain. Just really cool spot. Good point to build off here. Look at that view. Fantastic. Let's go rock hopping here. Now we're on this island. Again, amazing little bay here. Extends out into the ocean. You can 
just tell the views once you put buildings down oh man just fantastic somebody can do some really interesting stuff with these two pine trees there could you imagine mm. You have this tiny northern island here. Steering straight out into the ocean, if you prefer that. We do have some landmass over there, and a bunch of stuff naturally just extends out over this way, straight up north. Less impacting on the view, but you might prefer that. Very rocky final spot here, looping back around. Could do a troll cave shenanigan build or what have you. Make use of that. I know I've made a few of those in the past. Now we have the just the full riverside view. Still looks good. Could make something on top of that. Nice little cliff face there. Not too steep though. And we are back. Back with all the view. Alright. This looks fantastic. And now I'm going to go see the northern better maypole spot in the lake there and uh, I'll see you guys then okay right now I'm at the northern maypole with the lakeside not quite there because well I set up camp in this little spot here I thought this was the maypole and I was bugging but nope this is another village just south of the actual maypole village so already the view is pretty great. We have these stone circles that you can set up a base here. You can set up a base in that village. The Maple Village is just up further north. I mean, really close. Here it is, already. Cool mountain view there. Yeah, here it is. Quite the complete, nice little Maple Village. Great for progression. We got a nice field there. Again, that mountain, what a view. And then the actual lake, which is fantastic as well. I'm going to do another lake run around this time. I'll just pop my egg there. And then just zoom around. Again, the mountain view is very nice. The silver is going to be super easy. I just jumped off the next head. Mm. Look at that sunrise. That is nice. Got a river here. Yeah, check out that mountain. We got some interesting wetlands here. You can go the route of the wetlands or go to that little island out there. We're just going to have that absolutely amazing, not only lake, but also that mountain view. 
And of course, as we get further and further across, we'll be able to see those mountains more and more clearly. I mean, just phenomenal, phenomenal. We've got our Maple Village right over there. And then, wow, gorgeous. More wetlands, tiny islands here and there. Really nice. Another river. Who knows what's down there? That's for you guys to explore. Yeah, you can still see the mountains. Really nice. Great size. <laughs> good slope there, too. And it comes down to the waterway. Really good for gathering up silver. And now we're at the stone circle. Alright. So we made a nice full loop. You can see just how beautiful that lakeside was. All sorts of good spots to build up. And now I'm going to go to the more uh, southerly Maypole, so sort of southeast. And well, I'll be, I'll be back for that, yeah. Okay, a little bonus thing here, same seed. Just south of that lakeside here, we have this really cool ridge just out of nowhere. Uh, again, these seeds are always going to have these secret little spots here that you're just going to stumble upon that aren't visible on the world viewer. That's why it's always good to get in the game and explore because this ridge is phenomenal. You can make a base just south here and leave this in naturally to just relax and take in the views. Or, you know, just feather cape here, there, and everywhere. Of course, phenomenal times. All right. My journey continues southward. All right, I'm here at the southeastern Maypole Village. It is gorgeous and it is right next to a stone circle. So you can make a really cool mega base right here. Now, further out in this field, there is another village just beyond there and just beyond the village there is another river. So that's a really cool spot as well that you wanted to build on. I'm not really gonna showcase it because it's not terribly interesting compared to everything else here. I do want to show you this pond up north. Very cool. And it has some really unique looking spots around it. So, of course, potentially redoing that little building there. Not too bad. But let's continue because that is nothing. In this pond, nothing much going on until there is suddenly. <laughs> it just goes from 0 to 100 real quick. Of course, the pond itself, very cute, very nice, very carved saleable if you wanted to have that cozy time. And then, boom, we have shipwreck on land. Very rare experience. It's a double shipwreck at that. So if you wanted to have the sickest basement of all time, or just an outdoor decoration, boom, there you go. Amazing. I didn't even check for shipwrecks, but here it is. One of the best ones I've ever seen. And, of course, we also have this very nice little island here, which I'm just going to swim to. Not only that, we still have that view of the mountains. Not as good as the other lake, but still really good, especially from this little island here. Very cool. Love it. Love the tiny island in the lake. And, yeah, that... That's it. Just absolutely gorgeous seed. Wonderful for building up basic or doing extravagance on your community server or what have you. This is a gorgeous time and a wonderful seed. Alright, that's going to be it for this one. And now I'm going to get on to talking about the next seed. I'll see you there. Alright, bye. Okay, this seed is of a different style. 
We have something curious. Already we have a great maple village over here, and that's fantastic, but this one is far more based in tiny islands. So let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the full scale of this starting island. Decent progression, and then sailing out into the Mistlands area is not too bad. So you can use this absolutely as just a simple progression seed if you wanted to. Uh, haven't really checked the bosses too much. Mm, they're not good, but they're not terrible either. So Modair is not in the worst of spots. Yag and Queen either. And go out here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not the worst. It does have you kind of all over the place. But still, this is definitely more focused on the building side. Because look at all these nice, interesting little tiny islands here. Wonderful Maple Village. But also, check these out. All sorts of interesting black forest building. Alright. So I hope you guys really like this style. I definitely wanted to have a bunch of different styles of cool build spots. There's going to be so many cool spots here that I'm not going to be able to cover them all. I'll just record the coolest ones that I find and the maypole of course. And well, I'll see you in the game. Okay, we're at the islands out west here. Nice little island southwest right here from spawn. Really cool tiny bays little nice little crossing you could uh, make some lighthouses or something here on a build server or just building however you please it is a gorgeous crossing with a lot going on especially rocky would help with the immersion of the lighthouse carves long ships going through you could make excellent bridges as well of course bases are well plenty of room to have and uh, man this is just a very nice little black forest spot. Good views and good sailing on both sides. And there's a shipwreck over there, which I did not plan for once again. Uh, I did not mean to check, sh check shipwrecks. Maybe I should have because, man, these they're really good for aesthetic spots and progression. So, just excellent. Again, little rocky areas, tiny islands, going to be amazing for little bridges and such. This area especially, I could see a nice giant mega bridge. Maybe a mega bridge build like how London Bridge used to be historically. That would be cool. Mm, just thinking about that. That's okay. that's actually pretty sick. Pretty good idea. Uh, all this stuff, all these tiny islands as well. Perfect spot for lighthouses as I previously mentioned. But man, you could build them all sorts of places. So, alright. Cool spot number one found. Next time, I'm going to show you guys... The tiny islands that are on the way to the Maypole, and then of course the Maypole after that. We'll see you then. Okay, very simple yet great island again, just out west on the way to the Maypole. Here we have, well, uh, Saplingheim, the island, but there's also a nice little building there. There's some rocky tiny islands around here and there. Just a gorgeous 360 view, little island right close to spawn. Super simple. And uh, this little building here has got some great vines on it. Fantastic. Great little renovate building there. Look at the vines. Quite nice. All right. I'll see you again on the way to the Maypole. I think I've got some other cool islands like this to show. Other than that, see you then. Okay, I'm at the Maypole Village on this seed. And uh, there's the Maypole. Uh, wow. What a maple village. Look at this little pond. There's little, there's little there's tiny rivers through it. The multiple levels of the buildings. It's gorgeous, honestly. One of my favorite maple villages. I can imagine tiny bridges and larger bridges maybe be over there to that building. I mean, truly fantastic view. You can see out here. I've got really close, but not, not too close to the sea. We've got another building out there. Excellent view. Bunch of tiny islands to build on as well if you wanted to be uh, an aesthetic dock maker or what have you. Lighthouse, tower, anything. This is a wonderful maple village. And, I mean, look at the necks in the pond. Get back in there. <laughs> I need to be cute and aesthetic for me, please. You too. Back in, back in the pond. Yes. How sweet. Hey. 
you need to get in the pond too. How pleasant is that? Ah, oh, peaceful. Quite nice. Really nice. Wow. Great spot. And uh, there's quite interesting stuff even back the way I came. But I'll leave that for you guys to explore. There's a mountainous plateau here, which is really, really cool. And this whole stretch here, with all these little aquatic areas, is just magical to run through. Not as magical as the little islands that I showcased, or, well, this Maypole Village here, which is one of my favorites ever. But, uh, still really cool and really wonderful experience actually getting to this Maple Village. Well, that's it for this seed. I really hope you enjoyed it. Ooh, actually, hmm. There are some southern Black Forest Islands that are in the middle of a lake that I might want to check out. So, it might be it for the seed. It might not. I'll find out. If not, well, I'll see you on the next uh, seed in the world viewer. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy the little islands. See you then. Okay. Found the uh, southern islands here in the middle of this Black Forest Lake. And uh, even though it's foggy, you can still see that this is just really cool. There's so much going on. We've got an island here. You know, a little bit of a... Several stuff going on here. I think this is attached to the mainland. I'm not 100% sure. We've got an island here, a little island there. Another island there, and oh, oh, what's that right there? I didn't even check for that, but yeah, a really cool spot right next to the merchant. We've got an elder vigorous here there. Ooh, two towers here. You can do a really cool re raid and rebuild there, watch the enemies kind of destroy each other, and then just make a double tower build there. Of course, we have this little island over here. Oh, almost slipped in before I could make my jump. But yeah, like you can tell, the views are going to be nice. I'm not really going to run around this lake, but you guys know. You guys know that this is going to be cool. I'm going to leave that uh, mainly for y'all to explore. I'm dealing with a terrible day two fog here. <laughs> you know. Makes it exciting. Of course, you see Haldor there. Oh, I'm going to drown a little bit. That's fine. Hopefully I'll make it. If not, I have a potion. No, it's just, I'm on my post Mistlands character. I can afford to drink a medium stand. I've got a bunch of lingering stand. So yeah, Coastal Haldor with all these little islands around is just really nice. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this seed. Definitely a cool spot to make a bunch of builds. Really cool Haldor spot. Hello, hello. I'm afraid I don't have any coin for you today. Hmm. Still want that lantern of his. Somehow. Maybe someday. Hopefully. Well, that's it for this seed. I hope you enjoyed this one. And, uh, well, it's time for the next one. See you then. Okay, here is seed number three. And this one, again, nice building seed. We've got a lot going on here that can extend up, 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 up. We're all the way into the Mistlands. Bosses aren't too interesting. Let me check that now. Yeah, not amazing, not terrible either. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, let's just take a look. This one is again a little bit more different. This is just centralized around one lake with a maypole. Again, it's a fantastic maypole spot for progression. Really close to spawn. You can just go meadows, 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 maypole. Amazing. And, yeah, sailing routes are incredible. There's a northern lake too. A little cute little island there, but that's a little out of the way. These Black Forest Islands are bound to be incredible, but me personally, I think I just want to showcase the centralized aspect, because that's what makes this seed unique. It's just everything is easy, central, one lake, a bunch of wide mouths of these rivers, and that's it. So, just going to showcase the Maple Village, and then the lake, and that'll be it for the seed. Alright, see you in the game. Okay, this one's quite simple, I'm just going to show you straight from spawn. Just because of how convenient this one is. Just going to go straight over to the lake. Showcase it. Let's go to the spot that I haven't really seen yet. 
this little corner here. Why not? Yeah, look at that already from spawn. Wicked quick. Got this little island here already. Another one right there. Already super convenient. I was wrong about one thing. There is a tiny bit of black forest right before getting to the maple village. It is so small though. Honestly though, just have a couple of torches ready to scare off some greed dwarfs and you are totally fine. But if you're on passive mode like me, you just want to be a builder, pure builder, or a community server builder. This is what it's all about. Just going for it. Hmm. Need to get up the slope proper here. So yeah, this right here is pretty cool. You got a building right there. These sort of complex deltas here. This is the most complex delta that we got. And it is beautiful. Make a nice little base. Right next to the delta. Again, these rocks here. You can make a little towers, little lighthouses. Already we have access to the ocean here, so that's fantastic. And yeah, you can just, you can already spot the maypole over there. <laughs> We've got an extra building just to the left there, which is great. Have a little building just on the outskirts of town. Maybe convert that into the uh, item refinery area. Let's go to raspberry, why not? Ran out of blood pudding. Gotta make do somehow. Here we are. Maple Village. Quite nice. Close to the ocean side as well, which is excellent. Of course we have coast here, so it doesn't really matter. As long as somewhere in the lake is connected and it's all interconnected. So we're chilling. Beautiful little extra building here. And we got more black forest, so get your walls ready if you're playing on regular mode. Yeah. Decent amount of black forest. No shipwreck this time, that's fair, but could be just off the corner somewhere that I haven't explored. I don't know. Could be. Just gonna make a full lap around. Got another building here. Easy renovate if you wanted to. Again, this view. Classic view. Nothing wrong with this view. Not quite as good as that other seed with the mountains, but just the convenience of being this close to spawn, having a maypole right there, having this lake right there, all these little islands in there, that's pretty great. Pretty fantastic. We have an interesting side of this area over there that I haven't really run too far down. Nice little vines on that shack there. Uh oh. Ah, just barely didn't drown. That's fine. Nice shack there, because this spot is really cool. You can make a nice little bridge and a cool dock. That's always great. Love a good, nice bridge. A little tower that you can raid and rebuild there and connect it to some sort of mega base off the side here. Clear out some trees and have a nice view of the rest of the lake if you wanted. But, otherwise, normally I just cut right through, as you can see on the map. But yeah. Decent little cleared spot here. Now this is an interesting spot. Not only just because of the little plateau up there, but, uh, again, double objects here. You can incorporate into a very large base. You got a field there, so... Naturally, you get your boars spawning in there. That's going to be excellent. Let's use this rock to launch ourselves across. Quite nice. Now let's just go all the way down and back around to complete this little journey. You can see how wide this river mouth is. Really quite nice. We got Aether here, which is really cool. Again, just king of convenience. Super easy seed. 
see how close it is to spawn. That is excellent. Excellent for your convenience in building and getting at least something done if you wanted to. Again, nice little section here. Always love that. And just like that, we are back at spawn area. With a nice another little river. Alright. Thank you for checking out this scene, and I'll continue on with the next one. Alright, see you then. Okay, here's the fourth build seed. That's just really nice. And, well, uh, this one mostly you're just going to be able to explore for yourself. Because if I wanted to check out how many potential cool build spots there would be, it would be this entire little starting area and then some. There's so much going on. And I want to let you guys explore that one for yourself. So if you really want there to be like near infinite choices, then this is the seed for you. We also have a nice maypole right by a little tiny little pond, decent sized lake here, almost all meadows. And then it has this very large serviceable river here, perfect for a long ship. And that you can use to progress out into the classic Corvus supercontinent, or so I call it. This trio of giant continents here. Always good progression. But man, is this good for building too. So, just going to showcase the river view from the maple side and then the little lake here. And I'll see you in the game. Okay, we have our maple village here. Very nice. It's almost secluded from... Not only the river, but the little pond lake thing here. It's right next to it, but a lot of trees around, which is nice. Check out the riverside. Got something to show you over there before I go around the pond. So the riverside is nice. Very long ship accessible. But there's something really cool over here. On the other side, be able to see it in just a moment. Another village, yeah, right by the riverside. So yeah, I mean this seed. Even when you think maybe it's just okay, it's just an ordinary riverside, or things seem ordinary. Nope, the game is just gonna throw constant really cool spots for the seed. Man, is this seed special? Just a magical seed. Now. Let's take the trip all the way around the side. Of course, here we have the Maple Village. Now, this isn't as extravagant as some of the other lakes and ponds that I've shown you so far. However, that's perfectly fine because, well, the seed has a ton of different spots. More so than any other seed that I've shown you so far. Truly, just every other second, it just makes you want to go, Oh, maybe I should put a build there. Hmm. Hmm. It is just glorious. And, well, nothing wrong with a little pond. Even if it's little, even if it's not as cool as the others, it's still a glorious little pond with a cute little stream and a shack nearby. Very nice. And so we've come to the end of these ponds and of this seed showcase. I'm sure if I really wanted to show all the things in the seed, this video would be three hours long for just this section alone. There's a lot going on. But I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this, and now I'll get to showing you the final seed. Oh yes. So I'll see you there. Here it is, the final seed. This one, not going to showcase in-game, except I am. Because this one is going to be my Bronze Age Baron mini-series seed. We got some great sailing routes, nice build spots all around. Look at this, very good maple here. Little island chain there. A whole bunch of cool spots, but the progression is really nice. Now that's about as much as I want to see myself, because I'm going to play it up through the Bronze Age. And I might be able to use this seed later on. 
I do know that there's some great progression in it because I've seen it before, but I've forgotten a lot of the details and, well, I can just picture uh, where things would be good and this and that, but I want that to escape from my mind when I get to play in the world and get to showcasing the Bronze Age Baron strats. All right. Thank you much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed a lot, and I'll see you guys some other time. Bye.